are playing this and it's the end of the diary Shit. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. What's Our this? beautiful home. In spite of everything, I prefer being here. I'm already dressed. Where the fuck is her key, though? Where did she hide it? Where did she hide the motherfucking key? Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. This is not the right key. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. My dress. The one Martha wore when she was... Murdered. Killed. Murder, death, kill, murder, death, kill, yeah. How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. Speaking of snowing, it's snowing right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, that's the murder room. I don't know. Just wanted to call it that. Do, 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 do. From what I heard, this game is more psychological horror. I'm not getting it quite yet. It's but it's early. Strange. Why did they lock my room? As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. They locked your room because that's where they're hiding. What the hell? There's something dark and disturbing in there. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for you. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth.
firm bulwark even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defence shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Julia K. Distressed but supported by faith. Erene E. the mother, Erich the father and Martha the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th, a kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. Jam it up. We getting some jam, y'all. What are you? Chocolate. A privilege for few people in these times. Can I get to the camera? There. For Julia. To take more and more photos. Dad. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph the sparrow. There are so many of them out here. These are our vineyards. My father loved them so much that he constantly took photos of them. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. So it's obvious this family is pretty successful. One of Daddy's many photos. Who knows who these other people are? We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Is there something scary in the basement? The game has taken a while to get underway. From what I understand, it was psychological horror. Maybe I misread it. I mean, it definitely has had some eerie vibes from Lorenzini time to time. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Scissors, an instrument to gouge one's eyes out with. These could be of use to me. Oh. Okay, then. Mummy's sewing machine. She learnt how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Mom is dying. This fabric is not new to me, yet I do not think I have ever seen it in the house. Someone Our wine. Died. Daddy is so proud of it. I don't know, man. That's some pretty thick red. Someone was stabbed. Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. Daddy had this device brought here last week. It's old, but still works. He has always loved everything technological. Before I can use the enlarger, I should take a photo. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. 
the second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. I don't like wine all that much, but I go crazy for our dessert wine. It is very sweet. These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. There's a lot to explore. I'll give it that, but like... On the day of St. Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. Our Lady of Carmel, a company of the Falchium Regiment, counterattacked yesterday, forcing the French to retreat to Piazza del Mercato. The situation is currently under control. Good to hear. Florence, July 15th, 1944. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. Oh. Oh, that should have been made more clear to me and obvious earlier on. The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. Well, at least it's explaining, but that being said, like, personality-wise, she must be a very good liar. <clears throat> I don't need that right now. I beg to differ. My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. Having like premonitions of all this equipment being used in horrible and great ways. I was afraid of animals when I was little. I never approached them alone. What's up? How you feeling? What you doing? I think I recognize you. You're pooping all over the place. You're fucking pooping. Why the fuck are you pooping? I'll kill you. And on that note, we'll see you guys in the next episode.